Okay, hangman to go on a Kindle fire. And we open on the game panel. The mystery word display is at the top with the animation. Then below we have the letter buttons and the toolbar with settings, number of misses left, and the quit game button. You see the default settings. Min letters, max letters controls the length of the mystery word. Max misses controls how many misses you get before the game's over. Sounds turns game sounds on and off. Hangman turns the hangman animation on and off. And hints turns hint letters on and off. Um, we'll go back to the game. So, to take a guess, I'll start with letter A. And that was a hit. And you hear the hit sound. We'll continue with an E. And you missed one. And you see the hangman uh, progress bar filling in. We'll keep going. You can hear the silly sounds uh, when you miss. And we're going to just continue here. The uh, amount that the hangman fills in is the amount you've, you have left. We have two misses left. And I'll take my final miss. The hangman is filled all the way in. Game is over. You lose. The mystery word was athletes. And now it's offering to see the stats. I'll say yes. Now on the stats page, the first three are filters. They let you narrow down all the games you've played by how many hints you were given, or the maximum misses for the game, or the mystery word length. And we've played one game, and we have a 0% win uh, average for that one game. All the games you play will keep adding up, and games played keeps increasing. Let's go back. And we're ready to play again. Now, uh, hint letters, I'll demonstrate. I'll turn it on. Then I can control the number of seconds before the hint letters are shown. I've set it to seven seconds. And as I sit here puzzling what letter I should choose, here comes my hint letter. And there it is. Got myself an E. So, that in a nutshell is how you play Hangman to Go on a Kindle Fire. Thank you.